I'm Don Beal, and this is my exhibit in the uh, Jacob Edwards Library. I've been uh, taking photographs for over 60 years, and this is some of my work that uh, was taken when uh, my wife and I were traveling, and there's one or two here from the Navy when I was in the service. I uh, joined a camera club some 50, 60 years ago, learned how to take better pictures and started winning in contests and so on. And more lately, I've been doing a lot with Photoshop and a lot of the work that's shown here is uh, the kind of things that I've created. This church had probably been there 500 years or more. And it was a picture that I really liked. And so when I got uh, Photoshop, I digitized it and then uh, added in a darker sky because the sky was kind of washed out on it and enhanced the color a little bit so that it really stood out. It looks more like a painting than it does a photograph. They're very effective that way. Now these were boats. I took this last summer with a cell phone. It looked interesting, but uh, I thought I'd add a little something to it. And so uh, Photoshop has a lot of filters that you can add that uh, do various things. And this one got a first prize in the latest contest that I was in. Then another time, we went up to uh, Bar Harbor and they were having a uh, sort of like a sale by of all the uh, different windjammers. And I wanted to make this uh, picture look as though there were two ships meeting in the fog. And I was able to isolate them and uh, uh, put it up against an interesting background like that. So that's really a created picture. This made to look like a painting. So I changed the color on them to make them look old as well. Just play around with it and see what happens. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. My father was a photographer and uh, he got me interested initially. And uh, when I went in the Navy, that's when I started traveling and I got my first regular camera then. This picture here, I put together. We camped at a place up in Maine. And so I had a picture of a sunset with the water, no boat. I had another picture of a silhouette of this guy who was lobstering in the rowboat. And uh, so I just took him and plucked him in there. Colors are very interesting as yeah. well. Right. You know, all the soft kind of colors in the middle, but then at the bottom and at the top, you've got that strident orange yeah. ball. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting. It's so interesting being up there because where we live, we don't see sunsets at all because the sun goes right behind the hill and that's it. And then being on the water like this, you see all kinds of effects all over the place. These pictures here are uh, two train pictures. The uh, top one was taken with a uh, regular film camera. They were having uh, a steam train excursion and with uh, two engines, and it was in Pennsylvania. And Marsha and I just got in the car and tried to follow it as much as we could. And we got lucky with this shot here because it came by with all the smoke and steam and everything like that. And it was a place called Whitehaven, uh, Pennsylvania, somewhere around Scranton. And I've sold that one quite a few times. And I've also sold this one. This was in uh, New Hope. It was an excursion train. It was just a rotten day. It was raining, but uh, and it was cold. But that's when you get your your best yeah. atmospheric shots. This one here is a straight shot. It was uh, taken at the end of Jamestown Island, outside of Newport in uh, Rhode Island. And there were about a dozen guys out there. A hurricane had gone by perhaps two or three days earlier, but the waves were really strong. And this one guy was the only one who dared get up on a surfboard and surf it. And I got several pictures of him doing it. It was just uh, one of those fantastic days. And this picture here originally was taken up in Rockland, Maine. The ships were in two different pictures. I had a picture of the water and this one, and I had another picture of this boat here, and I just put it in the picture. And when you do that, the idea is to uh, get rid of everything that is not a ship. So that the lines show up and the sails show up and so on. It takes quite a while to race all that stuff and do it accurately. And I 
made it uh, brown to make it look like an old print. So it's quite effective that way. This uh, I took up in, in Italy, in uh, Tuscany. It was an old, old town. And this uh, woman disappeared down a back alley and I went to look, see where she was and I found this. And it uh, didn't look all that great originally because everything was gray. And I tried a lot of different things with it, it didn't work out. So I let it go for a while and I came back to it. And uh, I decided to uh, boost the color to see what I would get out of it. And I got all this gorgeous color. And then the sky was just gray. So I took a sky from Maine and put it behind there. And I didn't have to put the woman in, she was there. And I added a, uh, a filter that outlined all the bricks and so on. And that, it was quite effective that way. This one here is in, in France at a cathedral in Aix-en-Provence. It's a straight shot, nothing difficult about it. She was just standing there, she looked colorful, and there we are. <laughs> and these two pictures were taken in San Juan. There's a couple of fortresses in the city of San Juan, and all the arches and pillars and everything really looked interesting and with the peeling plaster and all that. And I just accentuated it with uh, Photoshop. Then I saw this lady walking down the street in uh, Old San Juan, and so I took her out of Old San Juan and put her in there. Now this picture here, the lady was shot right in this library uh, during a flamenco demonstration. She looked very dramatic. And then I turned up the color so it was at the maximum to get those dramatic colors. That's just a straight shot that I took in my backyard. He uh, just appeared on that blossom and I clicked him. That was taken on another cruise in uh, Costa Rica. We took a tour that uh, went on a, uh, a river voyage, and it was really great because they were really good about uh, stopping and taking pictures of all the wildlife. And that's called a snake bird because of his long neck. This is Old Sturbridge Village, the view that everybody gets when you first walk in. I started playing with that in the camera, and the Panasonic allows you to uh, do a variety of things like boost the color, uh, make it look like an old picture or whatever. And uh, I just uh, turned it into a sepia and then uh, vignetted it along the sides. And when I printed it out, I said, wow, that's really interesting. It's just, uh, I never expected it to come out like that, but it did. And several years ago in Sturbridge, they had uh, the uh, sleigh rally. And I shot a lot of pictures of uh, sleighs and also a lot of pictures of uh, Sturbridge. They had the sleigh rally in a, in a place that wasn't very scenic. And so uh, I took this, this guy here and put him in front of the uh, farmhouse. And this was taken last summer up in uh, Brownington, Vermont, which is right on the border with Canada. And it's a museum. It's a uh, granite school building, three stories high, that was built by uh, somebody who wanted to start a school up there. And since that time, it's been kept as a museum. And all the various towns, each town has a room that they exhibit stuff from the town in. And I made it into something a little bit different. I like uh, shooting when we travel the various places we've been. We've been on 20 cruises all together, various places like Alaska, Tahiti, Hawaii. We've been out to California, down the Caribbean, and uh, we've traveled in Europe too. But. Uh, there are times I wish I had the digital camera, you know, like 60 years ago. Would have taken a lot more. If anybody is interested in seeing these in person, I would highly recommend it. They are so atmospheric and it's a totally different experience seeing the printed photo. So thank you very much, Donald. Well, thank you.